We are here at Classic Talk with Bing and Dennis. Our guest today is Mr. Jelko Lucic. First question for you, I, I want to go clear back to the beginning, to your parents. Were your parents singers? Yes, they were. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, um, they're really not um, educated musically, of course. Uh, they have no idea about music, about notes and anything. But uh, they were born singers you know they and just love to sing yeah they love to sing and they sing uh, the uh, serbian uh, national folk songs uh -huh. which i like too and i sing with them when they sing then i join them and we sing together and not not only in one uh, one voice a cappella so you know we change some voice i sing in the terza down terza uh, up etc so it's very nice combination of th three of us so the <laughs> because i'm the only child so the quality of your voice is it from your father or from your mother's side? From both of them. From oh, both really? of them, I was, yeah. Yeah, that's the something you were born or not. Mm. What did they think of your becoming a singer? Were they supportive or did they think, oh, you should? Well, uh, at the beginning. From, at the beginning was very tough. It really? was hard. Yeah. It was hard because, you know, uh, at that time, ex Yugoslavia, present Serbia, yeah, uh, socialist, communism, uh, whatever. <laughs> Um, patriarchat, you know, so what my father said that, that that was the you know the last word was his and You know they were working people working class right. uh, What was your father's uh, he was working in uh, on the, um, steam locomotive uh, oh. whatever so he was a uh, how do you say that? Conductor? Or the, the train he was the train uh, the, the, the man who who was okay. <laughs> right, right. Doing something on the, this <laughs> to make it go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know the word in English for that. Uh -huh. But uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, <clears throat> singing was something that you could do beside your job. That's right. <laughs> the real job. The real job. <laughs> you know. So the question from my father was, well, uh, what are you going to do beside? Singing. Right. Singing is okay. You can uh, sing. I have nothing right. against that. Uh -huh. But you need a real job. My, my <laughs> son, I said, well, uh, excuse me, Dad, but this is going to be my job. Oh, no, 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 no. You didn't understand me. <laughs> so, what did he want? That was the beginning. Did he say? Well, he no. sent me to the same school that, um, he, went that where he, he went to, and uh, yeah, he was hoping that I will continue with tradition, you know, working on a railway. Uh -huh. So and <clears throat> well, it was really tough. And we, I, we had a fight at the mm -hmm. beginning, and I said, "No, I will I really do, do that." And uh, I had support from my teacher and from uh, from mother side as well. Yeah, and uh, well, in in a time he was a little softer and softer. So now he's very proud of me. And is is he alive yeah. today? He is. Alive yes, today? yes, of course. Uh, does he yeah. is he able to come see you perform? Unfortunately, not. But only. Oh well, I'm, I'm, when I'm performing in Serbia, yes, the, he was in a couple of performances, and well, he was very glad <laughs> about it. <laughs> Do they have a, a HD, you know, a theater there? Uh, no, we don't. No, uh -huh. no. You have to. Be wonderful you have to go be. there in person and 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 see and hear but you yes. return sometimes to serbia to when sing. i can yeah when i have time you know yeah. i go sing uh, i don't know two, one or two performances yeah. but only when i can you know because it's very hard with my schedule today to, to have a free time at what point that he changed his mind it's because he listened to you sing so beautifully and then uh well, no no well, maybe <laughs> that wasn't that wasn't the reason but but when he saw that i can earn some money with my ah, singing ah very practical oh, that was that was well okay then in that case you can continue <laughs> okay thank you did you <laughs> ever say something to your mother uh, your father says mm. see what i told you <laughs> uh, no. no 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 i didn't you know because he saw himself that he was right. wrong yeah. Was there any one performance you remember as being a breakthrough for your career, like that got you your career skyrocketed from? Where did you when did you sing in German opera houses a lot at the beginning? Uh, right? Yes, because I, I went uh, from Serbia to Germany in '98, and I was uh, fest in in, in ah. Frankfurt for ten years. I did my repertoire. Uh, repertoire I sang in in Dresden. I sang in Hamburg. I sang in, in Berlin, in Munich, and. Uh, well, but uh, breakthrough, I think it was. Uh, it was this uh, Macbeth, HD here, here. in Metropolitan, a ah. couple of years ago. 
Yeah. It was fabulous. <laughs> it was really something that just pushed me. Is your hometown forward. has a lot of, uh, you know, excuse me, in, in in your country? Yeah, there are lo- opera houses. Or well, Serbia is a very very small country. Uh-huh. We have uh, two opera houses: one in Novi Sad, one in Belgrade, so in, in capital. And but you know, I think uh, for for my country, that's that's enough. That's more than enough. Yeah. Yeah. Singers often go through, shall we call, crises in their careers with their voices. Yeah. Have you, has, has that happened to you? Has there ever been a time when you thought, oh my God, I'm losing Fortunately, my voice? Fortunately, not, not yet. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I think maybe it will never happen. But of course, you never know what the future uh, brings. But, um, well, there's a, unfortunately a couple of examples yeah, from my colleagues that... Because I think you, you well. really take care of yourself, you know, you know what really not to do, to, what to do, yeah. and all that. I think that's very important. It is. Yeah. It is, you know, discipline. Discipline is everything. And your, 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 your conscious, your brain, if you think about it, and if you're aware of, of, uh, of danger things that, are, that are, can conflict with, with your job, with your, with, with your throat and your, your vocal cord, then... You really have to say, no, no, I don't want to go to a restaurant tonight. No, I don't want to visit this party or go to that birthday or this wedding, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. On that same yeah. line, do you still today have a voice teacher or whatever or someone for, to go in for a checkup saying, listen, is, am I doing it right? Or uh, Yes, my teacher is 88 years old. She still travels alone. She was here in, in, in New York for, uh, I don't know, let's say it was Macbeth, and I think she saw Joconda here as well. And um, of course, when she she's there, she listen, and afterwards she come up to me and just say a couple of words, well, be attentive, but well, be aware of this and that, and take care of this, etc. you know. And of course, uh, uh, any time when I'm here, uh, every time when I'm here in, in Metropolitan, uh, then when I work with you guys, mm-hmm. of course, that because they have very good ear, you know, <laughs> they can they can hear immediately if something's wrong or not, and then they tell me, and then you know it's just the here thing. Right. You, you think about it, and then you you can correct it. All these uh, big houses in the world. Now, do you have any particular one house that make you feel at home? Always. Uh, that's uh, metropolitan. Oh, really? That's metropolitan. You know, I have on my own scale, my own list of opera houses, and I will put in a number one. There's, uh, let's say, four opera houses: Metropolitan, Scala in Milan, Vienna Staats op- uh, Opera, and uh, Covent Garden in London. Mm. Now, those four are, you know, like temples, opera temples for me right. today. Right. And, uh, well, I was really lucky to sing in all four of them and will sing according to my contracts that I have. So I'm really satisfied with everything. Let's hear some more music. We have one more selection. Uh, Let's take a listen and uh, then you'll tell us about it afterwards. Julian? That sounds familiar. Tell us. Yeah, it sounds very familiar. Yeah, <laughs> I just did the Rigoletto here in the Metropolitan a couple of months ago. Uh, but this, this is the production from Dresden, Semper Opera, uh, in Germany. And this, is, this was my first Rigoletto ever. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I did this production with uh, Fabio Luisi, mm. who is now here. Uh, principal conductor. Principal conductor. Right. Yeah, so that was our f- uh, first production together. And we did uh, Rigoletto uh, here as well. Yes. 
Uh, Louise and me. Yeah. So that's that's fine. That's good. And now watching that, I have to ask you about the uh, costumes. Uh, your color there of your costume, I'd call it chartreuse, maybe Hulk. or <laughs> <laughs> color. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm I'm really not surprised. Maybe 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 you are, and uh, but this is a, a very usual way of directing in uh, Western Europe, in Germany especially. Uh, the productions are very very modern, sometimes too modern, and uh, sometimes uh, completely without any sense. Does it distract? <laughs> does Unfortunately, it, does it ever distract you from the task at hand? Uh, no. You can stay focused. No, I'm focused on on the text, on 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 what I have to sing, and on, on the feelings, which is the most most important thing. And how I am dressed, well, so I have, have a to. Story. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, how do you feel that in, like you said, Western Europe, and uh, they often do really modern yeah, opera. Right. right. And uh, sometimes, like you say, it doesn't make any sense. No. But why do they want to do that? Just because they want it. I think they want something new. Different. They, oh, something different. Yeah. <laughs> they think that... Uh, Classic, traditional things are old, kitschy, mm -hmm. uh, passé. Yeah, passé. You know, it's right. it's not interesting. It's boring. Right. Well, it's not. For for example, yesterday evening production of Nabucco. It's very traditional. She said it couldn't be more traditional than this. It's a wonderful production, and it works. Yeah. I mean, my job as a singer is to uh, show you what I feel and my feelings with words. And with with the color of my voice, not with uh, you know Harley Davidson on the stage or being sure. naked or doing whatever on the stage, you know. So that's not the point. So do you think that because of just wanted for the sake of a change and change? Yeah, it's only that's the only reason. Nothing else. Oh. They all have ideas, of course. You, we can talk about your right. new and modern idea. I have, I have nothing against that. But if if it's you know stick to to the, to to text to fabula to what I'm doing. But you know, if you're just making things up, then we have nothing to talk about. Yeah, yeah, that's very yeah. True. You spoke of your emotions. Do your emotions ever get in the way? Do you have to say now, calm down? I've got to think about breathing yes. here. Yes. How yes. do you do that? Control. Control. Control is everything, really. Um, and uh, more as uh, more I'm on the stage, more I can control myself. In the beginning, I, it was very hard for me to, for, especially when I was singing uh, Germain in Traviata, or even Sharpless in uh, in, uh, in uh, Madame Butterfly. You know, hearing this aria singing uh, when Butterfly sees or sings to her son in front of me when I'm giving her a letter, I was like, oh my god really touchy really i was i was crying on the stage i couldn't control myself but and, I, and then i have to sing you know it's very hard when, when your nose is full That's of right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sing of course so you have to control your feelings and uh, you have to make audience crying for you if there's you I'm spoke going of to last cry. night when you were singing of for, uh, begging for forgiveness yeah but you have to you you can use the the wealth of experiences you have as a person. As a person, yes. To, to emote. Of course, what you want. yeah, yeah. Because uh, most of the time, uh, when I'm singing Rigoletto, Macbeth, uh, Simone, uh, uh, and you know these roles, uh, I'm I'm not that. I'm myself, because I I have kids. I, I'm I'm married. I had a uh, uh, couple of rough situations in my, in, in my life uh, in this embargo period in 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 ex yugoslavia etc etc the life was very hard and uh, and i know what i went through and then you know when something like that happens on the stage i know exactly how that person have to feel you know and to express itself. do you think uh, uh, you know opera singer um, acting is one of the most important one of a, besides voice is a very important part of it. It is very important, but not not the most important. Mm -hmm. So we are opera singers, and we are there to sing. Uh, I always have a problem if uh, that what I have to do on the stage 
uh, is uh, conflicted with my singing. If I have to run before aria or to jump or to do whatever or to sing with my back to the audience, never, never. If we're running into a situation like that, what do you do? I have, well, I say no, have to, I have, no, no, sorry. No, no way. Because, you know, we are singers and we are there to sing, you know, so everything else should serve that, our singing, nothing else. Regie, costumes, set. Very well said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that then go back to, you know, the, the old time. Usually yeah. that's what they do. Mostly they sing. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, if you when you see the the, the DVDs and the, you know these movies from fifties and sixties, the right. opera movies, of course. That's right. What can you what what can you see? They they go they go out. They come to the stage. They sing. You know, very very little moving okay. there. It's nothing. Yeah. You know. yeah. But you know, you see the you see the the richness of that set, especially in the Zeffirelli production set. Uh, even even uh, even before him. I mean. For some people, it's kitschy, it's boring, it's nothing. But for me, it's that's 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 the opera. I think because you know yourself is a very dramatic, you know, by singing, yeah. you know, your emotions through your voice. Right. So uh, I I totally agree. You don't have to making a big movement or emotionally to express yourself. No. Just no. by your voice, I think let people hear yeah. it. Well, if you're an actor, of course you have to do that. That's right. But if you're an opera singer, this is the, your only instrument to show everything you, you can and everything you have. And do you feel nowadays, uh, opera house, they are looking for people that, who can act more in that sense? Do you feel that way? No. 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 Okay. They are still looking for the people who can sing. Of course. Yeah. Yes. They wanted to yeah. have both, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe they uh, wanted to have uh, both, but, you know, if you're a good singer and bad actor, we'll take you. <laughs> <laughs> the audience is coming yeah. to hear right. beautiful singing. Right. Right. On a much lighter side, you say you have, say, three days in off between performances. How do you, and what do you do to forget the opera for a couple of days, and do you have hobbies or things that you do that you can just relax and... Well, actually, I'm not trying to forget uh, opera at all. Uh, when I'm not singing, then I'm uh, thinking about how I sang last time, what went wrong, what I could do better uh, uh, next time, uh, etc. So I'm, but I'm not obsessed, of course, right. with opera and then right. thinking all the 24 hours uh, a day right. uh, what I have to do. Uh, you know, how I'm relaxing, I'm watching TV, mm. uh, watching walking. Watching American TV. Yes, American TV. <laughs> what is your favorite show? <laughs> There's a couple of them. Um, Such as? Everybody Loves Raymond, uh, The King oh. of Queens, uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Friends. I see. Um, Seinfeld, you know, <laughs> this, uh, I don't know, what is the word uh, in English? Soaps? No. So so or soap or uh, the daytime soap or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah. that kind. So and then movie, sitcom. movie channels, uh, uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. good movies there as well. So, but, you know, just saving myself, that's the main thing. Mm -hmm. What about sports? Are you, are you a, any kind of a sports fan or <laughs> Soccer. Let's say yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm enjoying NBA, for example, oh. very much. <clears throat> uh, soccer, as European, you know, as yeah, soccer sure. is my is our favorite. You know, it's right, a sport right, number one. Right. Uh, but um, uh, I have really no idea uh, what's going on, on on the field in this uh, baseball thing in the American football. But mm. I watched that. Mm -hmm. I'm watching that, so it's okay. You know, I'm trying to get uh, okay yards. Uh, who? Why is he running there? And she? Oh, well, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's fine. Um, so, well, pff, doing sport. Yes, of course, I'm doing a little bit of sports. As I don't know, as much as I can. Yeah. But uh, the important thing is uh, to you know walk. Uh -huh, you're walking, on. walking, walking. Mm -hmm. I'm not running because I'm pretty much heavy and big for. Uh, a runner. <laughs> New York so, is a great city for walking. It, it is. It is. Yeah. Do you like New York? Very much. Yeah. You know, it's uh, my second hometown, let's say. Yeah. Beside my, my home hometown. That's right. Back in Serbia. It's a very special city. It is. I mean, the whole world is here. I don't know. Now, Every culture, 
um, every cuisine, every ev everything you, uh, the, from the whole planet is gathered here in New York. If you have any words for a younger generation singers, what do you tell them? Uh, one and only patience. Mm. Patience and uh, really uh, deep, deep studying. What deep? What does it mean deep? You know, go really in in the in the. I don't know being of of uh, what is singing. You know, so don't rush. Uh, don't please don't want to sing uh, Verdi and the big uh, dramatic roles after one year of studying. Just be have a patient, and everything will come alone from itself. Do you think the uh, agent or management has anything to do with it? Sometimes yeah, I sometimes. think they push them a little sometimes, bit too hard. Sometimes, yeah, they are pushing, especially when they see that uh, they can. Well, I'd be very brutal right now. They can earn some money, mm -hmm. or more money, then they're pushing. Yeah. Well, I can say I'm very lucky with my agency. I have two: Peter Wiggins, uh, IMG in Europe, and John Anderson here in Herbert Bell Management. They're good. Great. They know great, their job. I have one question. I just I'm lucky. we don't have much time left, but I'm yep. just dying to ask you one thing. Every singer has embarrassing moments on the stage or uh, <laughs> funny f in whatever way. I'd love to hear some of your moments that just um, funny or embarrassing or whatever before we wrap it up here. Well, uh, let's say it was funny and embarrassing at the same time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and uh, what I really don't like and ca cannot stand the situation when I forgot the text. Uh, yeah, prompter. And what happened? No, there's no prompter in Europe anymore. Okay, right, right. Prompters are gone in okay. Europe. Here, we are lucky to have them. But in Europe, it's another thing. And uh, <laughs> now, well, what to do? Blackout completely. Music runs. It's coming. You have to sing something, right, right. anything. <laughs> so you make up something. And then you make up something. <laughs> you know, it's... Not, then you don't know or to laugh or to cry. You don't know what to do. I mean, right. you made a big mistake. You forgot your text. You you confuse your, your partner. You confuse everybody of your conductor. You know, but you, somehow you have to get out of this situation and continue. But this is a situation that's happening, of course. I mean, my biggest, you know, this kind of is is that that I forgot the text and not know what to do, and then I repeat the text that I sang before. And you know, repeat and repeat it until the moment when I recognize. Aha, okay, ah, now yeah. I go on. Okay, good. Well, that's that's a very smart. funny. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And you'll probably be amazed at how few people in the audience even notice things like that. If if you're able to keep the melody going and make up some kind of. You're right. You're right. Yeah, because I mean they. I don't know. Maybe they don't know. I think in real they, life it's the same way. I mean, sometimes yeah. you just. You have to improvise. That's right. That's right. That's right. You have to improvise. Yeah. Yes. It helps. On that note. Yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're out of time. That's but right. It's been a great pleasure to have. Such a wonderful pleasure is all mine. To have Jelkovic with us today here on Classic Talk with Bing and Dennis. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you.